Hello students, I hope you all are doing good. We are going to start a new chapter today, Areas Related to Circles, the 12th chapter of NCRT textbook. Now, let us see what all we have studied about the circles. We have seen circular objects around us, like the chapati, cookies, our favorite pizza, the sweet cake, the dartboard, a ring, as well as the wheel and you can see many more examples around us. Now let us move forward to the parts of circle we have studied till date. The diameter, what is a diameter? Diameter is a line which touches the circle at two ends and passes through the center, right? This is the center and half of the diameter is the radius. Radius is a line segment wherein it joins the center to any part of the circle. It is the fixed distance, which is always the same in a circle. The tangent, a tangent is a line, right, which touches the circle at one point, at only one point. Then we have a secant. What is a secant? Secant is a line which touches the circle or intersects the circle at two points. Similarly, a chord, it is a line segment joining two points on the circle and as you can see diameter is also a chord. It is the longest chord, right? So let us move forward. Circumference of the circle. You have already studied about this. Now circumference is the boundary of the circle, this. Circumference is the boundary of the circle given by the formula. 2 pi r. Now, you all know that twice of r is equal to d, twice of radius is equal to the diameter. So, we can also say circumference is equal to pi d. Now, let us move forward. Find the perimeter of the adjoining figure, which is a semicircle including the diameter. You can see a figure here. We have to find the perimeter of the figure, that is the length of this plus this portion. So, diameter of the semicircle is given as 20 centimeter. Then radius will be diameter divided by 2. So, radius will be 20 centimeter divided by 2 that is 10 centimeter. Perimeter of the figure will be circumference of the semicircle and the diameter. Circumference of the semicircle can be given as 1 by 2 into 2 pi r, whereas diameter can be written as d. Here, the value of pi can be 3.14. Substituting all the values, value of pi, r and d, what we have is 51.4 centimeter as the surface area or the perimeter of this complete figure. Let us move forward to our next question. The radii of two circles are 19 centimeter and 9 centimeter respectively. Find the radius of the circle which has a circumference equal to the sum of the circumferences of the two circles. Here we are given a smaller circle with radius 9 centimeter and a bigger circle with radius 19 centimeter. So, according to the question, you need to have a circle which has a circumference equal to sum of the circumferences of these two circles. So, this will be a circle wherein it has a circumference equal to the sum of these two circles. Radius of the first circle is 19 centimeter. Circumference will be 2 pi r1. So, 2 pi into 19. Similarly, radius of the second circle is 9 centimeter, circumference of the second circle will be 2 pi r 2, that is 2 pi into r. Let the third circle have the radius as r 3, then circumference of the third circle will be 2 pi r 3. Substituting the values of circumference of first circle 
and the second circle, we have 2 pi r 1 plus 2 pi r 2 is equal to 2 pi r 3. This is according to the question. Now, taking our 2 pi common, we have r 1 plus r 2 is equal to 2 pi r 3. Now, 2 pi and 2 pi will get cancelled. So, we have r 1 plus r 2 is equal to r 3. Substituting the values r 1 as well as r 2, we have 19 plus 9 is equal to r 3. So, the value of r 3 that is radius of the third circle will be 28 centimeter. I hope this is clear. Now, let us move to the next question. The ratio of the radii of two wheels is 4 is to 5. Find the ratio of their circumference. The radii of 1 and 2, these two wheels is given as 4 is to 5. So, radius of one wheel will be 4 y. Then radius of second wheel will be 5 y. Then circumference will be 2 pi r. 2 pi r for the first wheel as well as for the second wheel. Substituting the value, we have 2 into 22 by 7 into 4 y for the first wheel and 2 into 22 by 7 plus into 5 y is equal to the circumference of the second wheel. Now, we have to find the ratio of these circumferences. So, 2 cancels with 2, 22 by 7 cancels with 22 by 7, y cancels with y and we have the ratio as 4 is to 5. I hope this is clear, right? Let us move forward to our next question. The wheels of a car of the diameter 80 centimeter each, how many complete revolutions does each wheel make? in 10 minutes when the car is traveling at the speed of 66 kilometers per hour. Radius of one wheel of the car is 40 centimeter. Converting this into meters, we have 40 centimeter is equal to 0 0.4 meters. Distance covered by the wheel to complete one revolution. What is one revolution? That is the circumference of the wheel is 2 pi r. Substituting the value of r as 0 0.4 meter, we have 0 0.8 pi meters. Let the wheel of the car complete n revolutions in 10 minutes at the speed of 66 kilometers per hour. This is given in the question. The distance covered by the wheel in making n complete revolutions in 10 minutes will be 0 0.8 pi plus n meters. Also, distance traveled by the car in 60 minutes will be 66 into 1000. Distance traveled by the car in 1 minute will be this multiplied by 10, that is 10 minutes, divided by 60 into meters. According to the question, we have 0 0.8 pi plus n is equal to 11,000. Again, solving all this, we have the value of n as 4,375. So, what we had to find is the number of revolutions and number of revolutions is 4375. I hope this is clear. Now, let us move forward to area of the circle. You have also done this in your previous years. The area of the circle can be given as pi r square. Here, r is the radius of the circle. So, this is the circle's area. Now, let us move forward and solve some questions. The radii of two circles are 8 centimeter and 6 centimeters respectively. Find the radius of the circle having the area equal to the sum of the areas of two circles. Here we are given two circles. One circle has the radius as 6 centimeter and the other circle has the radius as 8 centimeter and we have to find the radius of the third circle wherein the area of the third circle is equal to sum of the areas of these two circles. So, let us move forward. Radius of bigger circle is 8 centimeter and area of the bigger circle will be pi r square that is pi into 8 square that comes out to be 64 pi. Radius of the smaller circle is 6 centimeter. So, area of the smaller circle will be 6 square into pi that is 36 pi sum of the areas will be 64 pi plus 36 pi. 
that comes out to be 100 pi centimeter square. Let r be the required area of this third circle, then area of the circle will be pi r square which is equal to 100 pi, this one, right. So, r square will be 100 and r will be here. r is under root of 100 and when we find the under root, the answer is plus minus 10, but can the radius be negative? No. So, the radius of the third circle will be positive 10 centimeter. I hope this is clear now. Let us move forward to our next question. Before that, let us have this color. The cost of fencing of a circular field at the rate of 24 per meter is rupees 5280. The field is to be plowed at the rate of 50 pies, that is 0 0.50 rupees per meter square. Find the cost of plowing the field. Here, pi is equal to 22 by 7. The length of the fence, length of the fence in meters will be total cost divided by the rate and the total cost is 5280 whereas the rate is 24. Dividing these two, we get 220. So, circumference of the field will be circumference or will the field will be 220 meters. Therefore, if r meters is the radius of that field, then 2 pi r is equal to 220. Substituting the value of pi, we can find the value of r as 35. So, radius of the field is 35 meters. Therefore, area of the field is pi r square. Again, substituting the value of r, we have the value of area b 22 into 5 into 35 meters square. Now, we are given according to the question, the cost of plowing 1 meter square of the field is 50 pi, that is rupees 0 0.50. Multiplying this with the area, we get the answer as rupees 1925. I hope the process is clear. So, let us move forward. Let us summarize this session. In this session, we have covered the circumference of the circle. What is the circumference of the circle? If this is a circle with center C and R is the radius, then circumference of the circle is C is equal to 2 pi R. Also, we have covered area of the circle. How can you give that? Area of the circle can be given as A is equal to pi R square. Again, R is the radius of the circle. Also, the value of pi can be taken as 22 by 7 or 3.14, right. Also, we have covered some questions related to circumference as well as area of the circle. I hope all the concepts are clear to you. Thank you.